Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is March 27th. This is Steve Georgie from Allendale's Trading Floor. We've got uh, kind of a mixed markets for the grains overnight. Corn down a penny, beans down two and three quarters, but wheat up three and a half cents. So finding a little bit support, but really I think we're going to find a lot of positioning ahead of that USDA uh, acreage report and quarterly stock report out next Tuesday. So a lot of the outside markets relatively quiet. Uh, the dollar right now unchanged. So we've seen that back and forth. Crude oil, though, giving back some of its gains. Now, crude oil had a very strong day yesterday. A lot of geopolitical turmoil in Syria and Yemen, uh, keeping, uh, I guess, keeping the energy markets at... Uh, uh, certainly more volatile, and guys trying to still find a bottom in the energy is really pushing things higher. A lot of conversations about that yesterday. But giving back about $0.90 cents today, uh, approaching the $50 a barrel mark once again, keep an eye on that. Uh, if we see situation escalate uh, over the weekend, we could continue to see crude oil push higher on more of just a, a speculative buying. Um, but Keep an eye on that. Looking at stocks of crude, we had another bearish report this week. We continue to see crude oil stocks build, um, so be a little cautious uh, in the energy markets. As I mentioned, USDA supply or uh, acreage report and quarterly stocks uh, on Tuesday. Probably going to see the grain markets remain choppy going into that. Uh, 8 a.m. sales this morning. Nothing was announced, uh, so no no any additional sales or cancellations for that matter. So we're not going to see too much movement out of that. But Janet Yellen is talking today uh, at, at 1 o'clock, uh, the San Francisco Fed. And I think uh, it's going to keep the stock market and the dollar relatively quiet until, well, let's see what she says again. We know what happened after her last talk. And are we going to see some movement again today? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but enough to keep the markets on edge. Looking at livestock, cattle right now down 20 cents. Um, we're hearing bids at 160 in Kansas. Uh, that suggests maybe steady trade. Maybe a little disappointing after the rally that we've seen this week, but uh, we'll see what kind of cash trades we get uh, to finish out the week. Box beef coming in very, uh, very quiet. Choice up 16, select down 18, so mixed. Uh, and then hogs 15 cents higher, trying to build a stronger week. Uh, cut out values up 43 cents, but still we have a hog and pigs report out later on this afternoon at 2 o'clock and uh, expecting to see some negative numbers off of that report. So I don't expect to see the hogs get too much strength here today uh, ahead of that report. As I mentioned, crude oil down 90, the dollar unchanged, stock market up 39 at this point. Uh, we've got gold down 5 bucks and silver unchanged. But if you guys have any questions, feel free, give me a call. Or give us a call over here at 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Take